Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how you can use data validation to select hyperlinks that you can use to either navigate to a web page or to another location within your workbook. And we're going to show you a couple options and how you can do that. So let's take a look to see how that works in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a drop-down list here. I put in a data validation that shows three different URLs, google.com, excelbytes.com, and microsoft.com. And you can see here I have the three hyperlinks that I use to create the list for my data validation. So what you need to do in order to select one of these to convert that selection to a hyperlink to take you to that web page is once it's selected hit the F2 key and then hit enter and you can see it has converted that to a hyperlink when I hover over it it'll say it's going to google.com if I click on it it'll open my browser and it will take me to google.com if I want to choose another one for example Excel Bytes Notice when I hover over it, it still says google.com. So each time I make that selection, I have to hit F2 and enter, and it will now convert it to that URL. And you can see it says excelbytes.com. I'll click on that, and it'll take me to that web page. And then same, so if I want to go to microsoft.com, hit F2, enter. Now I can click on that selection and it will take me to that web page. So that's how you can do it using the F2 or editing method when you have a drop down list that contains a few different URLs. Now I'm going to go to option two here. Now with option two, we have the same list here that we had in option one. But what I've done is instead of trying to convert that specific cell to a hot URL link, Instead, in the cell below, I use the hyperlink function. And the hyperlink function, if we take a look at that, I'll type equals hyperlink. And it has two arguments to its syntax, link location and friendly name. So the link location here is F1, which is the link I've chosen for my drop-down list. And the friendly name is launch, which you put in quotes. So whatever I choose, from my drop-down list, I don't need to hit F2 to put it in edit mode. I can just click on the launch command that is down in cell F2, and it will take me to that web page. If I select a different one, say for example, Excel Bytes, I can just click on the launch command there, and it will open the Excel Bytes web page. So those are two options to go to external web pages in a browser. Now we're going to look at a scenario here where instead of going to a web page, I just want to go to a different location within my workbook. So what I have here is a drop-down list that has sheet 1, 2, or 3, which references the sheets I have down below, sheet 1, sheet 2, and sheet 3. So these need to contain the sheet name that you want to go to. And then what I've done below is again, I've inserted the hyperlink function. But instead of specifying just cell A1 as my link location, I have to do some concatenation in order to have it resolve to being the sheet name and the cell number that's referenced in cell A1. And then my friendly name is click here. So you can see that I have equals hyperlink I have the pound sign, and then I have that concatenated with cell A1, which cell A1 is giving me the sheet name. Then that is concatenated with exclamation point and A1, which is the cell reference that I want to go to on that sheet. So if I click up in the hyperlink formula and I click on link location, the link location again is the pound sign concatenated with whatever the reference in A1 is, which is in this case sheet 1, concatenated that with exclamation point A1. The exclamation point indicates that sheet 1 is a sheet name, and then A1 is the cell within that sheet that I want to go to. So if I hit F9 here, 
you'll see that resolves to pound sign sheet one exclamation point A1. So whatever sheet that I choose here, say sheet three, I'll say click here and it'll take me to sheet three. Now down below in cell A4, I've modified the hyperlink formula a little bit. So I've inserted hyperlink sheets.xlsx in square brackets, concatenated that with A1, and concatenated that with exclamation point A1, which is the cell reference. Again, if I click in my hyperlink formula, select link location, and hit F9 to resolve that, you can see it's going to go to hyperlink sheet xlsx sheet 3 cell A1. And that's exactly where it'll go if I hit the click here that is in cell A4. And that is how you can use data validation and hyperlinks to either navigate to a web page or another place within your workbook. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.